Okay, now let's go into now let's go into part two, which is the defensive with punishing. Okay, so let's set up the opponent to do something like this. I think that might be good enough, but let's let's try it. Playback recording, action on. So part two with punishing defensively. This one's a little harder, I guess. It's not it's not so common for this to happen. It it requires a very specific situation and a very specific fuck up on your opponent. But for example, if you're getting rushed down and you know that that button is coming, then you have to try to position yourself in order to whiff punish it. So if you know that that second medium punch is coming, you have to try to position yourself to whiff punish it. And this just happens, this really just happens when you have some sort of download on your opponent's offensive pattern your off uh, your opponent's offensive sequences that he's doing and when he's pressing a certain button which will allow you to space yourself properly in order to whiff punish him this is this is kind of hard to do and requires you to walk back a little further and to be really really aware of what's going on if your opponent's whiffing his buttons and when when he's pressing his buttons because he could change up his button timing he could change up his button presses it all depends on your spacing so if you if you are trying to whiff punish defensively it, it requires a lot of attention it requires a lot of focus on that like as if you know that he's going to walk up try to press a medium punch again and just misspace it but you want to position yourself in that in that area and the area that you're going to position yourself in is in the range of his button that he likes to press so you're positioning yourself in the in the area that he likes to press his button so if he's a medium punch type of player if he likes pressing crouch medium punch a lot with akuma then you have to try to position yourself where that medium punch is going to whiff and you whiff punish it but that's if you notice him going in on you that's if you notice him going in on you. If he's a medium kick type of guy, if he's a medium kick type of guy, then let's say he's trying to do this a lot. So you could position yourself knowing that, okay, my opponent really likes to do like walk up uh, crouching medium kick. So you position yourself right outside of that medium kick range, right outside of that medium kick range and it's and it's hard you see it's it's it requires a lot of focus it's very it's hard to do but let's say you're playing neutral and this is going on see it's essentially something like that where he showed you that he's going to do crouching forward into fireball and then crouching forward fireball so you're like okay this guy's a crouching forward guy as far bam right there let's say you have a button like that you could still whiff punish with a button like that because you're getting the damage on him and he's think he's going to have to think twice about it. He's going to have to think twice about it. And look at what happens when you whiff punish defensively. You immediately check him and you could follow through with a dash or you could try to start some sort of offense because you just made his mind go from an offensive mindset to a defensive very quickly. Maybe you could do something like that, or with Bison. There's probably not much that he could do about that. So just a regular check on a whiff punish, or just a regular whiff punish on a normal, is good to try to reset some sort of neutral and make him think twice about pressing that button against you again. And he has to get closer, and if he gets closer to you to try to press that button, you get your crush counter move or whatever it is that you have with your character. So that would be your defensive with punish. Like I said, it's not so common, but it's when you know that you're getting pressured and the person is just pressing buttons to try to approach you 
and then they misspace their button and you whiff punish them into combo.